Hey, you are confused. This is your friend, Major Boy. And to this video, we are going to talk about pay my debt and she cash. All right. But before that, let's get a good and have our intro first. Sure. Welcome back. If you're new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe, click the notification bell so you'll be updated for our upcoming videos. In today's video, we are going to do a little bit comparison between two e-wallet services, which are PayMaya and GCash. With a pandemic going on, we are encouraged to use cashless transaction or contactless transaction. That's why also na yun yung mga electronic transfer at saka e-wallet services. We, we are going to talk three things only. We have services offered, accessibility, and fees. So let's talk about services first. We have PayMaya services and GCash services. Both PayMaya and GCash services can do basic things like cash in, cash out, transfers, bank transfers, and partner transfers or cash ins. I checked earlier before this recording, we had a total of 51 partner banks. Now, what services na PayMaya na wala sa GCash and vice versa? For PayMaya, you cannot cash in PayPal. PayPal is only available in GCash. Now, with GCash, you can also do savings, which is not available to PayMaya. GCash has also have credit line. This is what we call G credit which means that you can borrow money from gcash yes you heard it right gcash can lend you money if you have enough credit score then that would allow you to borrow money from them that service is not available with paymaya both also do bill payments what other services na available sa paymaya at sa gcash na hindi ko pa alam if you know, please leave a comment on the section below. And the second thing that we're going to talk is accessibility. What I meant by accessibility is that ano yung most common na ginagamit ng tao? Accessibility. That's what I meant by accessibility. Paymaya basically is not that well known. Well, most of the people haven't been using Paymaya. Most of the time, people will say Gcash talaga. When you go to some supermarket, uh, convenience store, or resto or retail store most of the time na nakikita ko are using gcash as a way of payment hindi pa talaga masyadong widespread or hindi pa talaga masyadong marami ang gumagamit ng paymaya paymaya was there right after ginawa yung gcash and gcash is being powered by globe company while Paymaya is being powered by smart company. Now we're going to talk about third one, which is fees. So dito tayo magkatalo sa fees. Dito naman sa GCash, you can transfer GCash to GCash na walang bayad. At the same time, you can do it as well with Paymaya. Now in cash and fees, dito tayo magkakatalo. This is a make and break difference because fees is really making a difference when you're using PayMaya or GCash. So, dito natin pag-usapan ang cash-in fees. Nakakash-in ka in all partners. Almost the same partners. Nakakash-in ka sa common, which is 7-Eleven. Now, based on what I have been doing so far, and let me know if this is what you're doing as well, make a comment on the comment section below. Pag nakakash-in tayo, I always use PayMaya. Why? Because PayMaya cash-in is less expensive. Pero, yung GCash cash in to 7-Eleven is a little bit higher yung fee. Aside from that, hindi siya convenient because you need to go to 7-Eleven kiosk at saka doon ka mag-process. 
And like sa Paymaya, that all you have to do is just to generate the QR code and then pwede mo siyang ipakita doon sa cashier. Less expensive yung fee ng Paymaya kaysa Gcash. Now, when it comes to transfer fee, Gcash transfer fee is a little expensive. It's 15 pesos. Compared to Paymaya na yung transfer fee is only 10 pesos. So, 5 pesos yung difference. Diba? Ang laking bagay na yan. So, I prefer talaga to use Paymaya when doing transfer or even cash in kasi less expensive sila. And every penny counts. Diba guys? So yeah, I hope I was able to provide the insight so if you are planning to use, if you haven't been using e-wallet services, I hope these three reviews that I provided to you, which are services, accessibility, and fees, ay nakakatulong para mag-decide which app are you going to use. Well, this has been your friend, Major Boy. Thank you so much again for your time in watching. I hope to see you soon in my next vlog. Bye!